Do you want to know what intermittent fasting is all about? And more importantly, what it is not? Well, that's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. Hey guys, it's Uriel Kim here, New York Times best-selling author, renowned holistic nutritionist and fitness expert, and I'm here to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through really the, the what you need to know about intermittent fasting and also just as importantly what you need to avoid if you want to do it properly because you know there's probably a lot of videos a lot of information out there about fasting intermittent fasting there's a lot of myths and misconceptions and i've been doing this for a long time and i have to tell you first and foremost that intermittent fasting when it's done right is one of the most powerful magic pills if you will for improving your health. You know, if you went to your doctor and your doctor said, listen, you've, you've come to me with all these different issues and these different problems, and I have this pill that will solve most of these metabolic issues, and the best part is that it's free, you don't have to change the way you eat, you don't have to do anything else in your life differently other than avoid food for 18 to 24 hours, that would be pretty encouraged, that would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it be? Well, that's what intermittent fasting is all about. So what is intermittent fasting? So fasting is essentially a period of time where your body is not in a fed digesting food state. You have two states in the body. You have the fed state, which is when you're eating and digesting food, and the fasted state, which is when you're not doing that. Now the reason that the fasted state is so important is that when your body is in its fasted state, it's able to use more of its energy to go around its, you know, your own body and recycle damaged cells, repair what needs repairing, taking away the junk that needs to get out of there. It's almost like a recycling garbage man coming by and getting rid of the junk. This is a process known as autophagy, and it's been shown in hundreds and hundreds of studies to benefit human health on so many different levels, from easier and faster fat loss, improved blood sugar markers, rebalancing of hormones, um, you know, improvement overall of metabolic conditions. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I'll do some other videos where I'll go into some more specifics about the benefits of intermittent fasting. But here, I wanna just give you a quick overview of what it is. So basically what it is, is we're in a fasted state where there's no food coming in. And it's really, really simple. Intermittent fasting means that you are fasting intermittently with food consumption. So normally if we're eating every single day, intermittent fasting typically is one day without food. So there's different protocols. You can do however long you want to do, but here's the thing is the research shows that the real benefits of not eating really start to kick in at about 16 hours. So if you can go for 16 to 24 hours in a fasted state, that's when your body is going to start to reap the benefits of what intermittent fasting can do for you. Now in animal studies, one of the only ways researchers have found to extend lifespan has been a concept known as frugality or frugal eating, which basically means that these animals who are living about a third longer are consuming about a third of the calories. And just when we, when we look at what animals are doing to live longer, we also know that in humans, one of the greatest ways to improve the health of our telomeres, which are these little um, kind of uh, protective capsules on the end of our chromosomes, and they basically determine how long we live and in what kind of health. One of the best ways to improve the health of those telomeres is by fasting. And it's no, it's no coincidence that every major religion in the world incorporates some fasting, whether it's one day like Yom Kippur or 30 days like Ramadan in different ways and shapes and forms. So fasting is extremely beneficial and the, really the, the simplest way to think about it is just not eating food for a day, right? So what you want to avoid on a fasting day is any kind of caloric consumption where your body would be put into digestion mode or absorption mode. So if you're in a fasted state, you want to be avoiding taking multivitamins, you want to avoid taking the fish oils, you basically want to avoid anything other than water and herbal tea. Okay, if you're having coffee, cream, sugar, all that stuff would break the fast. I mean, it's, you, know, you don't have to be a Nazi about this stuff, but if you want to do it properly, you want to avoid any kind of calories or macronutrients from coming into your body that are going to require your stomach, your digestive system, to do the work. So we essentially want to think of this as giving your body a break, a break from having to digest food. And the reason it's so important is because digestion is such a labor-intensive process. If you can remember back to the last time you had a big meal, like Thanksgiving, 
Did you feel very energetic afterwards? No, right? And that's because digestion requires so much energy. And in the human body, it's really a zero sum game when it comes to energy. And the reason I know this is because I've written the best New York Times bestselling book on this topic called The All Day Energy Diet. And what I've realized is that your body, it's a zero sum game. You either have energy for digestion or you have energy for other things. That's why when you're digesting food, you don't feel like going out for a run. You sometimes go into a food coma and only want to lay on the couch. And that's because your body is using that energy to digest food. If you're pregnant, do you feel really energized? If you're a woman, obviously, do you feel very energetic in that first trimester? No, why? Because your body is growing another human being inside of you. So that energy is being diverted to growing the baby. When you're sick, do you feel very energetic? No, why? Because your body is fighting something. It's fighting an infection. It's diverting that energy to healing. So it's a really simple way of thinking about it. And that's why when you're fasting, it's such a beautiful thing to allow your body to kind of recoup that energy and divert it elsewhere other than digesting food. So lots of immense benefits of intermittent fasting. And I'll, I'll just finish off by saying what fasting in the intermittent case is not. This is not doing a 30 day water fast. Now I'm a huge proponent of using a one day fast once a week. I've actually written about it. It's actually a, a really important component of one of the protocols I use in my other best selling book, The All Day Fat Burning Diet. But this is not a prolonged fast. This is not restricting yourself from food for 30 days or even five days or even a week. This is once a week, one day per week. And I'll share with you exactly how you should do that in just a second. But I, I don't want you to fall into, into the belief that like there's a lot of nonsense out there. There's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to health and nutrition, a lot of misinformation as you've probably been aware of. So one of the things we want to avoid is avoid thinking that not eating is going to lead to starvation mode and forcing your body to, store, to hold on to fat. That's not going to happen in an intermittent fasting state. Again, if you're fasting for 30 days and you have nothing coming in, eventually your body will start to get a little bit stressed and think to itself, okay, we're not too sure when our next meal is coming. So we're going to slow things down and conserve energy, but that's not going to happen if you're doing this for 16 to 24 hours. There's lots of research on this guys. Don't need to worry about this. I'm not going to bore you with all the details. I just want to give you reassurance that doing a fast once a week is okay. It's not going to deprive your muscle growth. It's not going to make you hold on to fat. It's going to help you actually build muscle. It's going to help you burn fat. I'll leave you with one final thing before I show you exactly how to do it. Intermittent fasting has actually been shown to increase growth hormone and growth hormone helps stimulate muscle. So again, a number of studies have shown that in people looking to build muscle, intermittent fasting has no negative impacts. And when it comes to fat loss, well, we know that if you're not eating food for a day, your body's going to start to tap into its own stored fat as a fuel source. So it's a really, really cool thing that you can use. Now, let me just finish off by sharing how to do this. The easiest way to do this is by just starting at night, really. If you have dinner, let's say it's six o'clock, give yourself about two hours to digest and we start our fast at eight o'clock PM. Now you go to bed, maybe let's say 10 o'clock. The next day you wake up and by eight o'clock, you've already done the 12 hour fast. If you can make it till noon, that's 16 hours already. And I guarantee you most of the time when you're eating breakfast, you're probably not even that hungry. So the beautiful thing about this is it allows you to start to tap into your body's own kind of rhythm to be like, you know what? I'm okay. I don't need to have breakfast. I'll be fine. So if you can make it till lunch, you've already done 16 hours. Now, if you can make it a few more hours, even better, but don't stress out about making it to 24 hours. If you can't do 24, it's totally cool. Most times I only did about 16 to 18 hours. So don't beat yourself up, do the best you can. And if you want more help with how to do this properly, I'd strongly recommend uh, downloading a really cool resource I have called the intermittent fasting cheat sheet which you can grab somewhere on this video or below in the link. And what this cheat sheet is going to give you are three different ways you can do intermittent fasting based on your lifestyle and schedule. And I'll show you exactly how to plan it out for your day. And I also answered 19 of the most common questions I've been asked about intermittent fasting over the past 20 years of being in this space. All of that is yours absolutely free. Just click on the link somewhere around this video or below download it today. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more awesome videos to help you live a healthier, fitter, or more prosperous life. Thanks for joining me. 
Gracias.